Now you went through bipolar disorder yourself. Um, what are the challenges of trying to bring that mindset to the screen? I mean, how, how would you even go? How did you even start to think about how to represent that on the screen? Uh, <clears throat> well, the first thing was to find uh, ways to ground the audience uh, with the characters uh, and what they were like, you know, before they went bipolar, before, so they can first have a orientation, you know, before they went manic, and to put them in just very universal. Uh, human situations, you know, like a like a mother wanting to uh, be, you know, a daughter wanting to go to a mother to find out what she was like. Um, but then to progressively take them on the journey, that was a big challenge, and you have to really control every element of the production design and the cinematography and the sound to really immerse the audience in the senses of these of these people, while cr having uh, an actor who can create a performance that's not acting, you know, that's like genuinely just being this person who happens to have these symptoms that come from these emotional extremes. And so, um, you know, like, like the depression, for instance, was the hardest because all you do in a depression is like want to sleep and um, just escape reality. And so, you know, some people say, oh, why don't you go for a run? You know, and if we could afford the, afford the brain chemicals to actually stir up a run and have the run stir up the chemicals, then we would do it. But, but you know, that's when you have to like really use a lot of the cinematic elements of sound and, and to really get in the skin of them.